Hello everyone, welcome to Flotsam, the city on the ocean, the city builder. So today we're back and we have quite a lot of people living in our town. We got Boyo Base, we got K, U Boat, PL, Fiddlesticks, Skip and Not Case. And I'm actually going to be naming a few people today. And as always, if you have name suggestions, do let me know in the comments. The first one is going to be Max the Mechanic. And then we're also going to name another one. Skip is going to be named Jake. Welcome to the town, Jake and Max the Mechanic. And I will be adding more as we go, of course. So, food at the moment is going pretty well, it seems. Water, I think we have to improve a little bit with that. Now we got our also our first little solar cells. So we're generating a little bit of power and kind of half as we're doing while we're biking here, but it doesn't require any workers, so it is really, really handy and useful. So let's see if we can maybe do another one. Okay, yes, we can. Awesome. Let's do another one. I love some passive power generation. That's awesome. And maybe we should look into perhaps a little bit more food. I know we're doing really well with food for now, but perhaps something to look into. But also, I would love to upgrade our desalinator to upgrade it so we can use electricity for this one. To do that, we need to have a few more of the metal plates from this one. So let's make sure we increase this so have a good value. 10, so that should be pretty good. That's how many we're going to be producing for now. Ropes? Only two. I'm going to increase that to like 8 maybe. Yes, yeah, so we have a few of them around. And they may want to adjust something more. I think we're pretty fine with that. And some other things we can do if we want to. We can set on when we want the drifters to start biking on this one. So, like if we put at 80, whenever it drops below 80, they will start the biking on this one. And uh, I feel like if we don't need to put anyone to do biking, let's only do that when we're at a little bit of panic. So when we're at like 25%. And I think you can set them up individually as well. Yes, we can. So we're gonna have both done at 25. These are running all the time as long as they're connected. And we also might want to look into perhaps some batteries because we can uh, research that. So we can put out some more batteries to store even more power. And we can also produce power with wood power generator, oil power generator as well. Pretty handy, very useful. And uh, perhaps we want to do the Electro Crafter. I think I said I was, we was going to do this one. So with this one we can do battery, we can do a generator, and we can also do solar panels. If I do not misremember this, it might have changed. I think you can upgrade even the batteries on the main boat. I think you can. You can have like more power stored on the boat itself. I'm not sure if you stack them on top of each other. I'm pretty sure you could have in the past at least. But it might have changed. Okay, now we got this one, so let's hook it up with the other solar panel. Link it up with that one. There we go. Now we're going to be generating 20 power at a time, as long as it's daytime at least. Okay, so let's look around. We have gotten some new updates again to the game, by the way, so you can see the distance. This is how close you can go to landmarks. Now if you try to go too close, you can see the little white line around as well. You will kind of bump into them. So you can't be going too close, and I feel like that's a really good thing. Oh, there's some water over there. Let's head back there. We're gonna kind of back a little bit. Because I see we have a lot of water, and if we don't have to put too much work on getting water, I think that's a good thing. The fish just do look kind of weird at the moment. Is that a normal fish? It looks kind of strange. Let's have a little bit of a look. I guess it is this one. We should also get a fishing boat. That would be awesome. That may be the next research, maybe after this one. We can also do the bigger storage yards. They can be super duper useful. They can store so many more items. So we have the basic one. This one can store 20. This one can store 45. They do require a little bit more to build, but it is totally worth it. And I think we're going to be able to squeeze them in here. If we start with the destructing a few of those, and perhaps we can build an... Yeah, this one fits really well there. So we can put one there, so we can throw those over to this one. Let's also make sure we... We could change this as well, because maybe we don't want to have fish in these. And maybe not food either. I kind of wish we could like make some pre-made filters for this. That would be really awesome. We can do so. We can just change it super quick. 
maybe copper other storage containers as well to have the same pretty much that would be awesome okay so i wonder i wonder should we do this one first maybe we can do this one first we can use some power electricity to create with this one so let's upgrade that and uh, then we have to connect power to this one and i'm actually gonna make another energy pole electric pole over there we can connect it with this one and then we can upgrade this one a little bit later because we're getting into a water tower hopefully soon but the research is done now so now we're gonna do the electric crafting but uh, we want to research a few more things we have five more points let's go maybe for a fishing boat that's gonna be pretty pretty useful okay so let's hook up the main boat to this one then this one can have five connections Ah, it can't really reach it fully there. Okay, let's see if we can do another one. Ooh, really? That's like the closest one. Uh, can I drag this one to that one? Okay, let's see. Ah, that's, this feels a little bit strange. Maybe if I put one pole here and I, we can go over the water. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice. Then this one to that one. And now we can use this one again without using any firewood. It will consume a lot of power though. But I think it's going to be worth it. So if we go inside of here, we can make the Electro Crafter. So we can uh, make more solar panels, generate more power without too much work and uh, not pollute the water too much. So I think at least for now, I'm going to leave it maybe over here. That should be a uh, pretty good spot for it. And um, this research is also done. Awesome. Now we have three more points. Let's see. Do I want to research anything more? Uh, perhaps houses could be kind of nice. They take a little bit less space if you have them. Yeah, let's go for houses. The later one, we can even go for big houses. This one can have three drifters in every house. Okay, let's see if we can hook these up. I think we can go from that one to this one. Yes, there we go. So with this one, we can produce batteries and generators. We can also do solar panels and we need electric scrap to do so. Looks like we're very low on that at the moment. Uh, but I'm gonna maybe queue up to do a few solar panels for later on. And uh, let's also make some new storage. This fits in very well here. So let's start with that one. We need a few more ropes to keep building. We don't have so much power at the moment. I'm gonna keep going towards the water tower though because I know we're gonna need it so much. Perhaps we can make a quick stop. Do we need any plastic? We don't really need any plastic for now. But we are getting kind of close to the water tower. We don't have to go the entire way if we don't want to. I'm going to actually loot a little bit of wood and plastic we could do. But at the same time, I think it also counts into the weight how much you're storing as well. Because the storage, yeah, the more you store, the heavier it gets, the more buildings. And it's calculated together, and the heavier your boat is, your home, your colony, the more fuel is going to drain while you're traveling. We got to be a little bit careful with that. No need to hoard more plastic if we're pretty good with it, right? So to do another one of these, we do need to have um, four metal plates and three solar panels. Okay, awesome. I think that should be doable, as long as we get some electric scrap. I really thought we had more of those. But it seems we don't. And that is something I think we have to actually find. I don't think it's possible to craft them at all. No. Yeah. Ooh, look at the power you're generating now. That is awesome. 53. Because everyone is biking at the moment. And if you want, we can even enable this one. But it's a little bit slower to generate power than those are. Okay, let's go towards this one. There's a highway that might have some beautiful electric scrap that we need. Here we're gonna head for that one also. Okay, let's make a little stop over here. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful leaking water tower. Let's send over, I think it's enough with one boat probably. A beautiful little place. Some bikes, some houses. A good wood. So this one had water, metal, wood and plastic. And let's see for the highway. We had a highway pretty close by. Okay, here we have a beautiful highway. Oh, there's a generator on this one. There's some batteries. 
There's also a little bit of metal scraps from the cars and the tracks over here. So let's send over maybe... Um, maybe up to three boats can go to this one. It's gonna take a while to loot that one. That should be pretty good. It can go 120 kilometers per hour. I'm guessing it's kilometers, it's probably not miles per hour, but maybe, maybe. But I suppose it would be pretty quick with 120 miles per hour, right? Okay, we should be getting some water there. I'm thinking of making perhaps another water solo still. Because mm, there's no real loss in adding another one. We have the space for now anyway, so we may as well add in another one. So, over here should be a pretty good spot, I think. There we go. If you have a few more floaters, we can do make a few more on of them later on as well. Let's see if we can maybe make the fishing boat. What do we need? We need ropes and some metal plates. That's gonna be pretty easy to get. That's gonna be awesome. This one's getting looted, the P-Hell is salvaging the cars and ra railings as well. Awesome. Where's the generator? Is it this one in the truck over here? I'm guessing. That's a, like a battery at least. Yeah, I'm guessing it must be in the truck, I'm guessing that. Yeah, we have to improve on the water production. Let's see if we can upgrade this one soon. We need one more electric scrap for this one. Yeah, let's maybe make a little bit of firewood. And if you want, we can do actually another one and put the maintained firewood in, in that one. Let's make another woodworking shed. Perhaps we can do a little walkway as well. At the back over here. And there we add another one. So this one we can maintain some planks, another one to maintain some firewood. And let's maybe hook these up together so they can be connected. Do this one. There we go. That should make it possible to get around pretty quickly. We might add another one in between the later on as well. Water. Wow, awesome. That is good. The food is pretty good as well. Do we have homes for everyone at the moment? Oh, we're missing one home. Okay. So, let's see if we could upgrade our homes. I think we can upgrade the ones we have already. Or do we have to put out new ones? Yes, we can upgrade them. So, we're gonna need uh, planks and a few ropes to do that. And we may be low on seaweed for now. Yeah, we're really, really low on seaweed. Maybe we have to find a little bit of that. We do have some over there. And we have some water if we keep going. So, I think we will... Yeah, we're done with that one. Awesome. I guess we're gonna move uh, this way, in this direction. And we can get a little bit of seaweed over there. And keep going maybe towards the water. There's, oh, there's a lonely island there as well. Okay, that should be some good, good seaweed. Beautiful, beautiful seaweed. We need to get those farms soon as well, so we can grow them. And uh, let's gather a little bit of uh, wood. I think we're going to be using quite a bit more wood now than when we are making, like, firewood. This one looks like it's crashed into our colony, pretty much. <laughs> so this one is done. Okay, let's put the main thing on firewood and uh, also let's put a limit to that, to like 15 perhaps, that's a pretty big amount. Uh, 15 for planks perhaps, and the floaters as well, so we can uh, keep an, a good amount when, uh, when we're not busy with anything else pretty much. And put to maintain that again. Yeah, 10 is pretty good amount of the uh, metal plates I think. Look at them beautiful fishes. We need to get that beautiful boat. We will be able to have that one fairly soon. But we're doing pretty good with food for now. That's awesome. Here's an interesting, a lonely island and tall building. I think we're gonna go for that one. And I'm hoping for some ropes. I'm gonna upgrade my little beds first, I think.
Ooh, this one has some electric scrap on top. Ooh, look at that one. That almost looks like a big, big old uh, Nintendo controller almost. That's what I thought when I saw it at least. Okay, let's go gather some here. Just see even some buildings underground here. Under the water. And it has six solar panels. That is amazing. That's going to be so useful to have more solar panels. Oh, we can make a fishing boat now. Do we want to do that? I think we're going to upgrade the house first. We got to keep our people inside of the, some houses before we start getting fishing boats. But here they are making some electric. Here they are making some metal plates with some uh, electricity. That's awesome to see. Who's working on this one? That is U-Boat. You're doing fantastic U-Boat. Thank you for being so good in our town and working so hard for us. That's awesome. But yeah, I think we're gonna, like I said, I think we're gonna be using a lot, a lot of wood now. I'm also gonna upgrade uh, these drying frames so we can dry more at a time. And um, there are efficient energy grids. Okay. Ah, is that because we're consuming so much? Is that what they're meaning? Like we're consuming more than we're producing? I'm, I'm guessing that is what is happening. We do need more electricity now. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do that. We can make some new solar panels. We can start first with one more and then another one after that. So let's start maybe with extending that one. Maybe make a little walkway in between here. Like so. And then we're gonna add an thermal panel over here when it's possible. That's going to be generating 40 in power. That's going to be so nice. And here we have an upgraded beautiful little building. Looking beautiful. That can hold uh, two drifters sleeping in that one. Yeah, let's make two more of these. Start with one first. I'm going to need some more floaters. And then we got all the metal scrap already. Awesome. Look pretty fine with plastic for now. Ooh, it's actually going down a tiny, tiny bit now. So it may be time very, very soon for the fishing boat. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we're really low power now. You can be careful. Let's maybe send a boat to loot a little bit here because there's two floaters in there as well. Oh, there we go. We can do a fishing boat. And let's hook this guy up. Might be able to, maybe it would look nicer if we hook it up a little bit different later on. But for now, let's go basically like this. A zigzag going in between here. It's a little bit more, we can do another solar panel. Okay, we got that one. That's nice. Okay, let's look around a bit. We may be able to gather a few more things that is around. We have the fishing boat now, so we can uh, start uh, doing a little bit of fishing with that one. So let's see, where do we have some fishes? Here we go. I think we have two places. Ah, even more than two. Okay, let's see, I think it was over here. There we go. Do a little bit of fishing and maybe loot a little bit more of wood. I think we had a bit of wood around as well. Over there, okay. We may as well clean up the ocean a little bit while we're here, right? We're going out to get our first fish with our fishing boat. Beautiful. Don't catch that big guy though. He's a friendly fellow. Around for so long. Feels like he has been living since almost ancient times. He looks very... Looks like a relic of the past. Okay, let's see. 
and get some fishes. And that's one giant fishing pole that is becoming bigger and smaller every now and then. <laughs> hey, how are you doing, man? Hey, hey. Everyone's so happy in the colony. This looks really relaxing. Sit there and fish a bit and paddle home. Hopefully the colony is still around so they haven't left you. <laughs> Hopefully they haven't. Uh, let's hook this one up to this one. Here we go. Now we're generating 40 power. That's awesome. And then we're gonna keep making solar panels. I love passive power. That's awesome. Yeah, but it do require a lot of electric scrap. But we're gonna find some more pretty soon. Okay, I think we're gonna keep moving forward towards um, this one. There's a lot of fishes and things. We're going away from the, the things we had over there before. And we're gonna collect some beautiful water. Let's make a little stop here during the night. Everyone's sleeping. We have a very heavy boat now. Very heavy. Ooh, that's a bit, little bit too close. Let's back away a bit. That's better. Here we have another leaking water tower. More plastic, metal and wood. Should be enough with just one boat for that one. And we're gonna do a little bit of fishing in the morning as well. And I think we had quite a, a bit of fish around. Yeah, nice. And we can also do a little bit more of this, why not? Do we have any wood around? Yeah, a little bit further away we do have a little bit of wood. There we go, that's gonna be really useful. Look at the amount of generating power and how much we used. It's been very, very productive with the energy and also we're consuming a lot of it for a good good thing so I would really would love to upgrade this one but we need electric scrap for it and I think we're getting quite a lot of different fishes now so we will be able to do more things we got bloated flounder and we also do have some uh, oil gobbler and we have to research a building for that. We have to get the, the fish washer. This one we can clean them up and then we can use a fish kebab and also a food truck to make even more delicious and less polluted food. We can make like the unball roll, a goblet roll and a quarter flounder. That should be some really good food. I think I'm just gonna keep adding more of these. I love passive, passive generation, solar stills and solar panels for win. And if we need the space later on, we will swap those things out. And maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we can cancel these now when we're fishing on the sea. And perhaps we should stop use producing here for a while. I'm just gonna try that and see if we can spend uh, the seaweed instead of making, like for making ropes instead for a while. Because we may need that more than uh, making food with it. But we shall see if it works out or not. And we haven't been exploring quite a bit on the map here. We still have a lot to explore. So we could go to a new region, but at the same time we have so much more to explore here. So I don't really feel like we probably don't need to do that, right? But I would love to find some place with some more books. Looks like we haven't been paid a visit this one, so that could be our... yeah, let's go there. That, that will be our next destination. Plastic and wood is almost always around. Let's make a quick stop here by the seaweed first. Though. Books isn't around everywhere, so that's a good thing to go to. And also have another person to rescue over there if you want to. But our population is getting kind of big, so we, we don't want to have too many people at the same time. There will be a lot of food to be gathered. And we have a little bit of wood here as well. May as well gather that while we're next to it, right? I'm gonna make another one of these um, drying racks. 
We can dry wood a little bit quicker. Let's make three rows. That should be good. Then we can upgrade them with some ropes later on. Ah, I see a flag now. I, I don't think it was shown before, was it? I'm pretty sure it wasn't a flag on top of it before. Okay, I guess we're going somewhere else then. Okay, let's go. And I would love now to maybe research the batteries then, because then we can store more powers when we're not using power, we're generating a lot of power, so we ain't losing a lot of power. This one might have some um, electric scrap on it, the highway. I think so. Let's make a stop next to this one. Highway, we got metal scrap, batteries and the generators. Awesome. Very nice. And some fishes as well. During the night, a campfire was spotted, so I might need our help. A waypoint has been added to your compass. Thank you. So that's pretty good. Look at all the boats going out to salvage. That's pretty awesome. But guys, this is going to be it for today with Flotsam. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want the name of the game, do let me know and I will look into adding you guys to the game. So thanks for watching. I hope you had a good, good time. And I hope you can have a good, great rest of your day. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching. And see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you, thank you.